Moving ahead with the development of Lot J. During the state of the franchise, the Jaguars announced a $500 million project, including a hotel, residential space, office space, and an entertainment area. The team says the project has already started with the Hart Bridge ramp and says the elevated lanes need to come down. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller is joining us live. Brittany, so we've all heard about the development of Lot J, but for the first time, we're hearing about this new entertainment complex called the Live Arena. Yes, the Live Arena is just one component of the development of Lot J. It's not actually an arena. It's an entertainment district with restaurants and bars. A $500 million project that first needs approval from the city. I think, you know, we're going to be pushing and working with the city, you know, for them to do their part so we can do our part. I think it's really, really important for the area and for the city. You're looking at the design of what Lot J could be turned into off East Adams and Franklin Street. Shad Khan, owner of the Jaguar, says the design is done and he's waiting on the city to commit. All the heavy lifting's been done. Now we just want to see the visible proof. The Jaguars partnered with the mayor Maryland-based company Cordish Companies in developing Lot J. These are sample photos of other similar properties that Cordish has developed in other cities across the country. The plan for Lot J includes a 200-room boutique hotel, a residential hotel with 300 units, an office building, and the live arena. I'm confident, given the mayor's agenda and belief in having downtown grow, and have it be uh, significantly more desirable for people to work, for people to, to live, and for people to visit. Mark Lamping, president of the Jaguar, says it has a hotel operator to go into this space and there's other interest. Khan's development company originally proposed to put the new JEA headquarters into this space. Is JEA's uh, decision a setback in your plans? Well, it would have been easier if they would have come here, but, you know, it's, look, um, there's no guarantees in life. Lamping says JEA's decision to relocate near the Duval County Courthouse will have no impact on downtown Jacksonville's development potential. And we talked with Mayor Lenny Curry today, who says the Jags are ready for this development, and so is the city to make this agreement. Here's what he had to say. Mayor Curry says taking down the Hartbridge ramp and the development of Lot J will happen at the same time and in the near future. We will keep you updated on this story. Reporting live from downtown Jacksonville tonight, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.